Icy Yellow People Item Number SCP-4350 Object Class Neutralized Footnote Formerly Euclid Level 2-4350 Classified Assigned Site Site 48 Site Director Director Linda Lutz Research Head in A. Assigned Task Force in A. Special Containment Procedures As of June 1, 2010, the containment procedures regarding SCP-4350 instances have been discontinued. The following containment procedures have been archived for historical reference. Original Containment Procedures all SCP-4350 instances within the legally defined boundaries of Laurel Creek, California, USA are to be removed from the respective vehicle, replaced with Foundation-approved glass replacements, and stored in standard storage lockers at Site-48. The owners of affected vehicles are to be administered Class B amnestics. Description SCP-4350 is the collective designation for the stock window panes of the 8th generation Mitsubishi Gallant. When an individual looks through an SCP-4350 instance when within the city of Laurel Creek, California, USA, they will be able to perceive humanoid-shaped entities. The entities, designated SCP-4350-1, are yellow in color and estimated to be 4 meters tall. They can be photographed and videotaped through SCP-4350 instances. Instances of SCP-4350-1 do not possess any facial features or bodily orifices, and are thin and translucent. SCP-4350 instances will continue to reveal SCP-4350-1 instances when removed from the vehicle. The number of instances visible will vary based on the location from which they are viewed. None have been observed outside of Laurel Creek. Discovery On March 30th, 2010, Site 48 agent Charles Chaudhry rented a 2003 Mitsubishi Gallant after his original vehicle was stolen. When driving through Laurel Creek, Agent Chaudhry reported perceiving SCP-4350-1 instances outside of the vehicle. Repeated test drives by other Foundation personnel confirmed the anomaly. The vehicle was purchased from the rental company and stored within Site-48 on April 6, 2010. It was discovered that the windows of the vehicle are responsible for the anomaly, and not the vehicle itself. The SCP-4350 instances were removed and stored in standard containment lockers. The vehicle was fitted with alternative glass panes and is currently used as a Foundation transport. Addendum 1 The following interview with SCP-4350-1 instances took place on May 13th, 2010. Transcript 4350-1 Interviewer Agent Aristondo Serrata Interviewed Instances of SCP-4350-1 Forward Agent Arata is seated within a parked Mitsubishi Gallant installed with SCP-4350 instances, facing north in a parking lot in Laurel Creek. The vehicle is under surveillance from nearby personnel. Dashboard cameras have been set up within the cabin, facing the outside. Begin log. Alright, Control. I'm in the vehicle. You can see some... tall yellow entities outside. Video feed shows an SCP-4350-1 instance standing outside, approximately 7 meters east from the vehicle. Outside video feed does not display the instance. Uh, attempt direct contact with the yellow entity. Okay, control. Excuse me? Can you hear me? I'd like to have an interview with you. The SCP-4350-1 instance appears to be startled by the exclamation. It begins to walk towards the vehicle. Agent Arata can be heard from the outside video feed, with no instance visible. Control, the entity is currently walking towards the vehicle. 
The SCP-4350-1 instance stops one meter from the vehicle, and appears to bend down and peer through the right front window. Um, hello there. Are you able to understand what I'm saying? The SCP-4350-1 instance kneels down onto the ground, and continues to look into the vehicle. Agent Arata winces again. The SCP-4350-1 instance is still present, and appears to cock its head to the left. Get another message, Control. Wait, so we skipped. I think the message is... Can you see us? I'm gonna respond. Yes, I can see you. I'd like to ask some questions. The SCP-4350-1 instance is joined by another instance, which sits to the vehicle's left and peers in. Ah. I'm getting another message, Control. It says, do you know what we are? No, I do not know what you are. Could you tell me? Three more SCP-4350-1 instances gather around the vehicle. Okay, I got an answer back. It's... You should not be able to see us. Could you tell me why shouldn't I see you? The SCP-4350-1 instances continued to watch the vehicle. Have you received a response? Yeah, it was... We have not seen this glass before. We must adapt to it. The five SCP-4350-1 instances move closer to the vehicle and stretch their arms forward. The entities are currently heading towards the vehicle. The SCP-4350-1 instances make contact with the vehicle. The SCP-4350 instances begin to rattle Outside footage displays the glass rattling for no apparent reason. The glass is shaking. They're putting thoughts in my head about the new glass matrix. The glass continues to rattle. Please step away from the vehicle. I... I do not wish you any harm. The SCP-4350-1 instances suddenly begin to evaporate from view of the windows. What the... Control, the entities are disappearing. The instances continue to evaporate. The SCP-4350 instances cease to rattle. The entities are no longer visible. No SCP-4350-1 instances can be seen through the SCP-4350 instances. Exit the vehicle. We're ending the interview. End log. Addendum 2. Following the interview, no SCP-4350-1 instances have been perceived despite multiple attempts. SCP-4350 was reclassified as neutralized on June 1st, 2010. Recently completed analysis of SCP-4350 instances revealed that their chemical makeup does not match any other known glass. Further research revealed that the Mitsubishi Corporation produced the unique glass through an experimental technique that was quickly discontinued. The glass was only installed in 8th generation Mitsubishi gallants manufactured at the DSM manufacturing plant in Normal, Illinois, USA. The exact chemical makeup has not been used since.